What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to add individual dimensions. I'm going to show you how to dimension an entire wall. And we're going to put some spot dimension symbols to show the top of footing elevation. And then we're also going to add spot slope symbol to call out the slope of the roof. So pretty simple exercise, but it will help you on your annotation. So let's say for example, you want to add a, you want to add the thickness of this wall here. So what I'm going to do here is from the Annotate tab, I'm going to select the Align tool or you can also avail that or you can also find that here on your Quick Access toolbar. You can click Align Dimension or you can also type DI as a shortcut. So you can click this. There you go. And then here on the Options bar, so I'm going to make sure this is uh, Wall Faces because I'm going to select Faces of Walls. So I'm going to select that and then here... I'll just leave it as it is, individual references. Later, I'm going to show you how to sell, how to use entire walls. Okay, but for this one, individual references, I'm going to select this face of this wall and then this face of this wall and there you go. And then I'll just play, pick another point to place my dimension. And then if ever it is overlapping with your element, building element, you can click that blue dot, you can drag that text something like that and then just select here modify to terminate the tool okay so next one is let's say i want to add here a text or prefix so you can edit your dimension you just need to terminate your dimension tool and then click your dimension and then click again quickly and then here you can actually replace it with text not with numbers make sure if you're going to use replace with text make sure you put a text here but i'm not gonna do that so i'll just use actual value but here on the text fields i'm going to put a prefix like uh, let's say typical or tp typ dot or period you can also add a text above the value suffix or below the value for this one, I'll just add prefix. So I just select your OK. And there you go. OK, so I just added a text there. Oops. So I'll just adjust this one like that. OK, so now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, add dimension by just selecting a wall, for example. OK, so to do that, I'm going to select again align dimension. This time for the pick option, I'm going to change this to entire walls. And then let me just click here the options. Just make sure openings, intersecting walls, and intersecting grids are unchecked. So I'll just select here OK. That's it. Okay, so now that it is already entire walls, I just need to pick the walls. And there you go. So there's now your dimension. Okay. Now, another option, so let me just uh, go again with dimension. So uh, this time, I'm going to select here intersecting walls. There is no opening to this wall. I'll just select here intersecting walls, and let's see what will happen. So I'll select here OK, and then I'm going to select again this wall and see what will happen. So it also adds dimension to the intersecting walls. So I'll just place it here. Again, let me just tidy up this. Oops. Let me terminate first the tool, click the dimension, and then click the blue dot just to tidy up my dimensioning. Okay? And modify to terminate the tool. There you go. So that's how you use and place your dimensions. Now, let's say, for example, you want to know what is the elevation of this. Okay? So you can go to the Annotate tab. And then you can select their spot elevation. So you can click this. And then after that, you can also specify here if you want to have a leader line, shoulder line. And the display elevation, I want to select the actual selected elevation for that. So for leader and shoulder, I'll just leave it checked. So I'm now going to pick here. And Revit will now uh, check what's the elevation of that footing. Okay, and then I'll just select here modify. Now I can still add here a prefix. I just need to select my dimension here. And then I just select here 
uh, single after value prefix. So I'll just type here like TOF or top of footing. And then I'll just select apply. There you go. So there's now my prefix. So I'll just modify this one as well. Or I mean, I'll put a spot elevation. So I select spot elevation. Let's pick here. Pick, pick, and then modify to terminate. Then let's select again the spot elevation and then let's put a prefix. Click the drop down arrow because we already type one, which is the TOF. So click that and then apply and there you go. So any changes that you made here, like for example, you change your footing, you change the elevation, you can click that. So if you change the height offset from level, automatically this one will update as well. So let's say this one is minus 450. I'm going to make that 900. So minus 900 and then apply. And there you go. So as you can see, it also updates and vice versa. You can also update this and automatically your 3D model will also adjust. Same with the properties. Okay, so that's how you add your uh, spot elevation. Now, let's go to my elevation. So let's say you want to know what is the slope of this roof here. So there is a tool for that, which is spot slope. So you can click that. Okay, and for the slope representation, I just want an arrow with an offset from reference of 1.5 mm. You can change that if you want, but for me, I'll just leave it as it is. So I'll click first point and then I pick another point here to place my slope and I'll just select here modify so again if ever you change the slope of your roof your spot slope will gonna be updated as well so let's say I select this roof here so if I change here the slope let's say I put 2.25 for the slope of the roof if I select apply so it will also update all right so that's it for this uh, simple and quick exercise about uh, dimensioning like uh, dimensions, individual dimensions, dimensions to an entire wall, spot elevation or spot dimension and uh, spot slope. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.